Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm super, super excited again to be unboxing my second Amouage fragrance to be added to my collection, which is the Material Fragrance. So I have previously done a full review on this fragrance, which you can find on my YouTube channel. Um, but at that time I had a sample and this time I've got the full version of the beautiful fragrance and I'm so happy to open this up today and show you what it looks like. If you do want a full review on this fragrance you can watch that video on my YouTube channel so do check it out on there. But today I'm just going to quickly open this up and also just quickly remind you what I thought of the fragrance. So this fragrance was actually launched in 2021 and was created by Cecile Zorokian. And the packaging of this is slightly different. If I show you an older version of one of Amouage's fragrances, like the Dior for example, that I unboxed the other day, it opens up like that and that's how most of Amouage's fragrances open up. But last year they launched two new fragrances, one of them was the Material which is this one, and also they launched the Boundless fragrance as well. So it'll be interesting to see how this one differs to the packaging of the older fragrances. So let's just open it up. So that is how the box is, where you've got the name of the fragrance, the name of the fragrance house, you've got the design of the box all around, and then on the top you've got Eau de Parfum, and then on the bottom you've got information about the ingredients, where it was made, the size and the barcode. So the new fragrances, they open like a book, so it opens like that, and then you've got the fragrance sitting inside. So on this side over here, you've got a little message from the creator of the perfume, Cecile Sorokian, and her signature, if you can see. And then over here, you've got the fragrance sitting inside. So this is how the full version of the fragrance looks. So in my full review, I showed you what the sample looks like, but this is how the full bottle is. So it's like a reddish, orangish, square-shaped bottle with like a burgundy brown cap. So the cap again, you've got diamond tea on top, which is like an orangey diamond. And then again, it's got like a magnetic magnetic lock on there. So when you put it on, it kind of straight away just connects. So this is a 100ml fragrance. And the best thing I like about this is that it was made in Oman, as you can see. So yes, Amouage is one of my favourite fragrance houses. I'm so, so, so excited to be adding this one to my collection as well. So I'm just going to quickly compare it to the Dior bottle as well. So as you can see, they're both exactly the same shape, exactly the same size. They're both 100ml. The way 100 mils, the way they've been designed are exactly the same as well. So you've got the name of the fragrance in the fragrance house and watch here and the logo there. You've got the diamond tees on both. The, the design of the cap is exactly the same as well. The thing is though, one thing that people can misunderstand is that this one, for example, the Dia, is a fragrance for women. But the material is actually a unisex fragrance, it's for men and women. So people usually associate like Amouage um, presentation bottles with like a man's fragrance and a women's fragrance because what happens is, is that their men's fragrances are usually in like the taller, more rectangular bottles and the women's fragrances are in like the shorter, more squarish bottles like this. But whilst this one is like a deal for women, for example, and then the more taller, rectangular bottle will be deal for men. This one and Boundless are actually um, unisex fragrances, even though this is in a square, shorter format, and the Boundless is in a rectangular, longer format, if that makes sense. So don't get confused with the two, and definitely don't judge the fragrance based on the way it's presented, because as I said, the material is a unisex fragrance, and so is the Boundless. I haven't tried the Boundless, but I've tried this, and I absolutely love this. So just quickly, I'm going to run through the notes with you, and just quickly tell you what I thought of this as well, which I've also mentioned in my full review of this fragrance. So the top notes in this are Petunia and Alemi, the mid notes are Madagascar Vanilla and Benzoin, and the base notes are Tonka Bean, Incense, Gayak Wood, Labdanum, Oud and Osmanthus. So this fragrance reminds me a lot of Warm Winter Nights in London. It gives you very, very cosy vibes. It projects so well. The scent feels very, very natural and thick in consistency. You can definitely tell that this is a quality fragrance and it's one of my most favourite winter scents out there. It performs so well on my skin as well. This fragrance is so, so nice. I mean, when you first smell it, when you first spray it on you, straight away you get like the patchouli with vanilla in the background. And then after about two minutes, the incense starts to come out, but you still got, you've still got the vanilla in the background. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful scent because it's not overly vanilla-ish, if that makes sense. It's like so beautifully and well balanced. The dry down is based more around oud and incense, which is also a very beautiful type of smell. 
If you want to find out about the scent at each part of its fragrance journey, then do watch the full review on my YouTube channel. So thank you for watching today's video, guys. If you do have any questions about this fragrance, then do drop it in the comments box below. I am working on doing more reviews on other fragrances which are coming soon. I just haven't had the time this week to sit down and actually do um, proper reviews on fragrances. So the ones that you guys have mentioned as well in the comments are coming soon. So do look out for those. And if you want you here, then please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thank you.